Hey, yo, Eric the Great, word on the string. I see you, cuz. What if I let your boy? If was a feel, if, if was a feel, if, if was a feel, we all be on. If, if was a feel, if, if was a feel, if, if was a feel, we all be on. If, if was a feel, if, if was a feel, if, if was a feel, we all be. If, if was a feel, if, if was a feel, if, if was a feel. What's up, my great family? How y'all doing? Hey, God is great. God is good. As y'all can see, we have Kim Barrell right here. I um, I ran across this video. I was looking at Kev on stage, I think, you feel me? Now, if you don't know, Eric the Great was raised in church. Ain't to my regular church. I'm talking about go to church on Saturday type of church. Yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You like, how many times is we going to go to church? I started thinking church was my home instead of my real home. I think, as a matter of fact, I think I spent the night at church a few times, you hear? But when I was young, I remember the moment I had asked my daddy, why is this different kind of church? Why it ain't just one church, it's only one God, right? You know what I mean? He said, well, people, take certain things out the Bible and interpret it different. Everybody has a different interpretation on how the message that is in the book is given to them. That's why certain preachers got certain spice because they got different interpretation how they deliver the message. It's all about the delivery, trust me. How a person is gonna receive it. They soul. You did. I was thinking about an analogy like uh, God is like a a balloon. It elevates you. You know what I mean? Now people I get it and start making balloon animals with the balloon. You got a dog, balloon animal, Christianity, or uh, uh, Church of God in Christ. Do the balloon again. You got Baptist churches. Do the balloon again. You got Muslims. Do the balloon again. You got Catholic. Now, when I seen this, it reminded me of my church a little bit because sometimes when you a child growing up, and you see everybody doing the right thing all the time. Your entertainment is when something bad happens. When somebody says something that is not nice, that is hilarious to you as a child. You're like, what is going on? You think the show, but it really ain't a show. You think somebody forgot their line. You ain't supposed to say that. You supposed to say, God bless you. You said you stank. That didn't match up. That is not what I'm used to hearing. So sometimes it real slip out. Sometimes you got to give it to them realer than most. You feel? Let's see. Because they said Miss Kim Burrell gave it to them a little bit realer than most. You feel? your dream get away from them I don't know how many times I'm going to say it because it's in the house. It keep on bubbling up in my spirit. I done read 15 scriptures and I keep on coming back to this. If you're surrounded by people who cannot help and support the vision of God inside of you, get away from them. If 
you really want to fight for what God says that he has in store for you, get away from this mess. It is the enemy that comes through people to distract us from reaching forth to the things that God has for us. Here's the verse I want you to understand. Say, I press. Y'all ain't prophesying tonight. You're acting too lazy. What y'all want me to do? Hum and scream and holler. Come on, open your mouth. Say, I press. I press to run them up for the prize. Okay. Man, that's the beginning of her click out. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't, they was whispering, I press. I can't hear nobody now. You know how they say, can I get an amen? That mean. I need a better response from y'all. Y'all a little bit too quiet in here. Do you hear me? Or as I'm talking to myself, open up in your mouth at the lower gate. Of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. This next level is going to have to be in Christ Jesus or it will not last. Bottom line. I don't care how much work you put into it. If you don't do it in Christ Jesus, it's not going to survive. Now listen, it's not time to be a coward in the house of God. People might not go with you. Your vision may be too big for them. It's all right. You got to get strong. You got to get bold. You got to get courageous. You got to get... Anybody out there that's going for their dream and somebody is not supporting you, sometimes... That's letting you know that maybe where you're going is too big for where this person can come. They might don't know how to act at the place that you are going. You know how they get uh, uh, like a plus one. Hey, man, yeah, you can come. But just you, you don't get no plus one because it's not enough room at the round table for somebody that's not focused on the goal, which is great. It's strong. You got to understand that you say you're serving a God who is exceeding, able to do exceeding abundantly. Ab you know, we can say all of the favorite scriptures, but if you don't apply it to your life, you're the same humdrum nothing you were when you said it. Come on, think about it. I'm just hardcore like that. You know why? Because it's time out for being babies. Why do you need a hug? Everybody that's been through stuff. Now, I know what a youth week looks like. You know what I'm saying? Back in my day, youth week mean females is everywhere. Yes. The skirts that come right at the knee or right above the knee, oh, yeah, it's in plethora. Don't play with it. And you, look, listen, if your daughter is blessed, then the skirt ain't going to hide that thing. You feel me? Time to go from there. Tell somebody, go from there. Look them in the eyes. Y'all so scared. Y'all like, go from there. Uh, uh, I think, go from there. Look at them, go from there. <laughs> I'm talking about spirituality now. When I was growing up, they said cleanliness uh -oh. is next to... <laughs> Look, the, the girl, the girl had walked out, man. The girl said, look, I, I I can't, I don't know who she thinks you talk to. I got to go, I got a restroom break on this. Look at her. She was like, let's see if they know some scriptures. <laughs> look how she whipped the, whipped the microphone out there. So I wasn't the only one who was taught that, right? So anytime that's the case, I'm glad they raised me up like that. I'm so glad that they raised me like that because to this day, I cannot stand to ride in a dirty car. <laughs> oh, I hate it. I can Hey, this is the kind of preaching that is necessary sometimes because people ain't going to catch the message all the time with a nice delivery. That's all I'm saying. Sometimes you got to give it to them raw because they car might look a little raw. They got McDonald's papers balled up, uh, McChicken papers down there. You got French fry salt. You got French fries. Uh, 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 been right there since 1992. This dodging trip. What's going on? You stand no filthy car. You know why? Because usually the car is where a lot of us spend most of our time. 
And if you spend most of your time there and your car is filled there, it says a lot about who you are. That means you're comfortable around dirt. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Damn, is she making eye contact with somebody in the congregation? It makes me think that somebody talking while she's trying to preach and she's slick talking to them because you know how they be coming to church these days. I love like they going to the club. Yeah, he. That's all I'm saying. She might, she like, she's looking right at somebody. They comfortable around dirt. <laughs> you got no problem with Cheetos under your seat. It don't bother you nothing. You just let the kids throw cookies all in between the seat, wasted milk, spoiled in between the seats, everything stank. You don't like to cut the air conditioner on because you're scared that's going to be stank. <laughs> Funyuns, bunions, bugles. I've gotten in so many different people's cars and they came to pick me up. And I just started to stay right there. <laughs> Tell nowhere I go rent me a car or something. I can't climb. That nigga said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> this joker said, I go rent a car before I sit in your car with spoiled milk. <laughs> this nigga said, you scared to cut the air conditioner on because <laughs> cause you scared that the air going to stink? Ma'am, you got stanky air in your air condition. I can't believe you. Work hard for my little outfit, sitting out on your car seat so I can get up with a stain in my clothes. <laughs> no, you ain't. You filthy maggot. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. You call a filthy maggot. Y'all heard it, man. Look. Nah, nah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I would have took it that far. You know what I'm saying? You just can't be calling folk Mac, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what a Mac is? If you don't, it's disgusting. That's a dirty spirit. <laughs> so that's the kind of stuff they don't like for you to preach. They want you to tell you you're going to get a house and they ain't paying their tithes. Oh, Lord. Yeah, they want to tell you you're going to get a brand new car. God's about to open up a door. God's about to, God's about to, God. No, God's about to save you for real. <laughs> So when you get saved, you ain't got to have a lot of matter in your life. Got to mana, got to mana. Young ladies, time to stand up and get you some money. Oh. Get you a job. Oh. Quit thinking you so wonderful with that dirty thong on, thinking some brother gonna come and... Oh, thong, 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 thong. Let's talk about it. Dirty thong. Now, I don't know. Like I said in the free, I don't know if she's making eye contact with the front row. And then you got a front row full of thoughts in training with dirty thongs on. Lord Jesus, please wash the thongs white as snow, Lord. Lord, in your Lord, life Lord. And make you a princess and you ain't living a dime's worth of nothing. What makes you think, oh boy, gonna get a job to celebrate you and support you and you dirty? Oh Lord, and you dirty. You're just dirty, a ball of dirt, a dime worth of nothing is how much? Dirty, that's how much it is. You don't even know how to wash good. Must be right now. Right as here? You sit here oh. and you think old boy wants you in, in his life. You know what? She might can, she might can smell the mud. See, I, there you go. The front row again. Now, what if these Young ladies on the front row is thinking somebody might be catfished out. You know what I'm saying? Got that dirty thong on for real. You did. Might be musty. She been walking and running and walking and running, opening up them car doors, rolling up cigars. Oh, oh, we got to go to church. Oh, I ain't know we had to go to church. Get your ass up. Must the must is you don't forgot the motherfucking secret. pH balance for a woman. 
Don't forget that deodorant. 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 Don't forget that deodorant.
We got to help each other. That's true help. See, when we leave here and talk about it, that's tearing the church down. But when we come together and make mention of it and handle it like we're supposed to do it, then God can bless us. Amen. There it is. There it is.